what up? It's your boy Zaya Savage. But anyways, man, what I wanted to get into, but before I even get into that, man, for all the people that's been supporting my channel, for the ones continuously buying merch, uh, a lot of people, and, I, and, and when I say a lot of people, a lot of people have really been supporting the movement. And not even just the movement, but just supporting me in general when they really don't have to. And, uh, and they've been spending some good money. So, you know, shouts out to you. Uh, but anyway, as you can see, merch in the background, mask, whatever. Just get at me if that's what you want. But what I really want to get into is the simple fact that people are so up in arms right now. And, you know, a lot of people are probably going to think it was the ICE protest. I went to the ICE protest, got so much footage on it. And I've seen a lot of people that really talked about what they wanted to do but just didn't show up. And it was kind of disappointing because, uh, you know, there's a lot of cats that they really didn't have nothing to do. Just chose not to show up because they felt like it wasn't their fight. But they continue to say for their people. Uh, but that's besides the fact. What I really want to get into is the simple fact that people are up in arms about the so-called. I won't even say so-called. Out in Lancaster today, there's supposed to be a clan rally. There've been uh, allegedly there's been skinheads chasing dudes home, trying to set dudes up, knocking at people's door, and a lot of people are, uh, you know, on edge. And not so much that they're really scared. Of course, they're on point, but I think a lot more people are at that point to where. They're looking for a reason to take somebody's heads off. And I know a lot of people have came, uh, you know, on my channel, not just on my channel, but like as far as like my, my IG and they continue to talk all types of mess about people being scared. But I don't think it's people being scared. I think people are so fed up with dealing with this same particular issue that they're just waiting for fools to do something. Uh, the only thing I foresee tomorrow is this. Somebody's going to do something that's going to get out of hand and somebody going to lose their life. Plain and simple. The cops, uh, you know, supposedly they're not backing up. Sorry about that. Supposedly they're not there because there's a rumor going around saying that police are going to be involved uh, with the Klan. And, you know, some of them are going to be rallying on their side because they, they've been walking out their uh, their jobs in trove. I, I, I don't know for a fact that that's that. If that's apps, uh, I don't know for a fact if that's true. You know what I mean? It's just a rumor that's going around. I know in NY a lot of people did give up their badge because they felt like uh, they were getting uh, an unnecessary amount of hate. But, you know, uh, I'm not here to play devil's advocate. I'm not here to, you know, sympathize with them. It is what it is. You chose that uh, You chose that profession, so you got to live with the consequences of a lot of people uh, throwing hate at you, but there's a lot of people that that are on their side. But you know that's not nor here or there. It's just it's a part of the game. You know what I mean? Just like when you see a criminal, you know, it, you assume the worst. Like this dude is the worst person in the world. But there's a lot of criminals out there that just do the minor things. They're just you know what I mean? Like tiny baby steps. You would say you know what I mean? Compared to some people that are really on the street putting in that work or doing what they do the career criminals you know what i mean but i'm just gonna say this man for the people that uh do choose to go participate in the clan rally nobody's scared of you dog it's just it's 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 at that point and it's so much and i and and here's the thing why i say people are not scared uh because they're not you know we're it's we're not our ancestors you know what i mean it's like you, they they chose to endure certain certain things because people had things of there's really nowhere to go but you know for the people in my generation we're not really tripping it's just like if if it's going to get to that point to where it's all out war you know, understand you people will shoot and other people will shoot back that's i had just told somebody that you know what i mean that swore that they weren't racist Nobody's really tripping. Nobody's really scared. And hopefully, you know, they'll take their little clan rally and run back to the hills. Because for a lot of people that didn't know about Palmdale and Lancaster, back in the days, there used to be a lot of them out here. You had the American Nazi Party. You had all these different groups. But in the end, a lot of them got swept and they went hiding because uh, a lot of people just wasn't having it no more. When you come to Lancaster and Palmdale and all these cities, it's a lot of interracial couples. So... You know, they're not trying to hear that mess. And a lot of them are also law-abiding citizens who carry guns. You know what I mean? So, 
you know, it, it a lot of things changed in this town, but just due to the fact the political climate, you know, a lot of people want to blame the Democrats and other people want to blame the Republicans, but it's just people's stupidity. Plain and simple. You had, what, Joe Bison posing with a Klan member? Like, I mean, it was a long time ago, but he was the head of the Klan. And then you got Trump making his comments that only, uh, only uh, made things a lot more tense because he just who he is. You know what I mean? He's never really pulled any punches for the people that don't know about him. He just, he don't pull punches. You know what I mean? And it's just like, and it may cost him his presidency. And that's another thing that people need to watch out for because there is people out there that feel like if he's dethroned that they, they need to act up on the streets. And I'll just reiterate what I said earlier. Nobody's really scared. Like, you know, you got all these rumors that these dudes, skinheads, knocking on people's doors and, you know, and using the N-word, do any ends live here? And people... You know, I don't know how true that is because honestly, if you if you were to come in the part where I stay at and say that you ain't gonna make it off the street, you know, and it's just that type of issue. But these these type of cats only stay in certain parts, like Lancaster, like way back up in there, these more obscure neighborhoods, and some more in these neighborhoods that are doing a little bit more well off because they're able to you know, do what they do. A lot of these people throw their little meetings up in like Victorville, up in the hills, and then, you know, further down the 138, more obscure parts. They're not really out here on the streets. And if they do, there's a police presence around, but you're never going to see that type of energy in Bokoima. You're never going to see that type of energy in Sun Valley. You're, it, anybody that knows about Sunland knows that them dudes used to run around there like madmen, and they got knocked off the map. They were constantly getting shut down. My hood did not deal with skinheads. And when they did try to act up, they were getting dusted. I'm talking about running on their blocks, doing some grimy stuff. But, uh, you know, we'll just leave it at that. But So nobody's really tripping off of them. And for all the people that, you know, they hit me and they're like, Hey, Zah, what do you think about this? I don't think nothing. Truthfully, it don't matter if it's on the street or if it's in prison. When it's time to rock, it's time to rock. You know what I mean? So don't don't let these dudes pump no fear into your heart. This is just me putting this out there in the ether. Don't let don't let dudes push you to the point that you feel like you gotta run and hide. If anything, it's like I said in a post. If they approach me, I'll put them in a box or they'll put me in a box. It just that's just how it goes, you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's just been double S and I've always been taught to stand my ground. It, it ain't no running when it's time to get active. You know what I mean? It's it act like you're on, the, you're on the yard when it's time to get active. It's time to get active. Don't run from nobody. Don't fear these cats. Don't let them push any type of agenda. Everybody got guns. You know what I mean? I can't legally have guns, but everybody got guns. You know what I mean? And if they ain't got guns, they got screwdrivers. They ain't got screws, they got something. You know what I mean? Defend yourself if that's the need. This is not, uh, you know, advocating violence, but nobody's going to sit there and let people do them how they feel like they could do. If you think all this suspect stuff with these dudes being hung and then there's no camera footage, that shit has been happening left and right. Not only Lancaster, Palmdale, Victorville, out of state. Like, this stuff been happening. It's been swept up under the rug. The only thing now why people are acting up is because due to this COVID-19, a lot of people are more aware of their surroundings and then, and there are a lot more people at home and we're able to see the TV because if if that dude Floyd would have got killed and we weren't, weren't on lockdown or whatever, lockdown, uh, it would have got swept up under the rug because nobody wasn't paying attention. But this time, America was paying attention. And for the people that might come on here race baiting and, you know, you want to say like your little stuff. Understand, man. Nobody's really tripping off that. If you if you go to these protests, even the ICE protests, you see so many Caucasians there. It's just you know, it's one of those things. People are fed up. Like I said, these dudes were getting ran out of Mississippi, a spot where they said that these dudes wouldn't be at. So, you know, that's all I'm gonna say on that. You know what I mean? And hopefully you guys understand that this is just the way shit is. You know what I mean? You just gotta live with it. Uh, or act up, you know what I mean? Because I know if if it's in my presence and it gets cracking, it's gonna get cracking. You know what I mean? Either I leave in a box or you do. That's just the way it go. You know what I mean? Or you can go on about your merry way, but ain't nobody scared no more. At least I've never been scared. You know what I mean? But ain't nobody scared. On that note, your boy Zod.
keep their minds open. I'm out. Hundred miles and running. Boy, I'm so athletic, so poetic. Run my city like a senate, let it set in. Let it simmer down, greatest ever. Like Mike Jackson with the zippers now. These punchlines, even livers giving out. Fuck a hand out, hands down. I'm the best at this shit, and the rest, weaker vessel to this. With these demons that I wrestle, hit a nail, let my thighs settle. From the ghetto, pedal to the metal. Big up to the homies that I know. If you're burning out, just a hiccup on the road. Got an appetite, a big one if you know.